In this training video, we're going to look at reports in project and changing the look of reports between tasks and resources. So under the report tab, I can use reports for project. Now for to use the reports for project, you need percentage completion, which we have with ticks in this example, and you set a state to state. So any reports that affect both resources and tasks can then be flipped between. So we're going to go under the dashboards in this example and we're going to look at the cost overview for the report. Now the reports that have been generated here, for example, there's a chart here showing the cost status and the cost is shown by task and I can extend the size of this chart, make it a bit bigger. So we can see that right now the chart is showing by task. Now with the chart selected, I can actually change this chart to, to review the chart by resource instead of task. And I can do that by, with the chart selected, I can use the chart design tab and there's an option called chart data so sometimes this comes up with a chart but if it doesn't and the chart design here's chart data and it's called a field list so this chart now is cost cost applies to both tasks and resources so at the moment the chart has been displayed by by task if i click on the resources part of the field list very cleverly, we've now got costs by resource. So engineer manager, HR manager, what they're costing us throughout the project. If I wanted to show it by task, all I've got to do is click back by task. So quite clever how you can flip between task and resource for reports that affect both tasks and resource. If I close this one down, I can look at another way of looking at it through a table. So I can click on the table. If the grey field box doesn't come up, you can go to table design, table data. And at the moment it's by task. So all we'll the breakdown of the cost by task. Click on resources. It's now give me a breakdown of all the table by resource and yet the chart I can still keep by task so you can mix and match the table design and the chart design as I've done here you can keep them the same so this is clearly showing a breakdown of the resource cost the chart is showing a breakdown of the task cost and this is just by flicking back and forth between the tasks and the resources in the field list so I'm going to change the table back to task and it now updates itself. I could then go into a different table, a different report. So I'm going to go back to reports and I go into cost again, this time cash flow. So cash flow, I'm going to go into the table. The table gives me a breakdown of the cash flow by task. I've selected the table, table design, table data, field list, go from tasks, which is presently showing, to resources. And now we've got an update of the cash flow breakdown of all our resources. And you can just flip back and forth between them. So very, very clever way of working by looking at different information, by just clicking back and forth between the different areas. For, for reports that affect both of the areas. Now I'll show you one way that this, this is not going to be effective. So I'll close this down, go to another report, and I'll go to Project Overview. So you can see this is all about percentage completion. So percentage completion is all to do with tasks. 
So you're asking for tasks to be percentage completion. So the percentage completion of a task, so it shows us where the percentage completions are. And then anything that's outstanding or that hasn't been completed. Now if I change this to resources, the percentage completion doesn't apply to resources. So you can see here, it, it doesn't know what to do. It just wants to get, it's waiting for you to design a new chart. So not all the reports affect both. This is an example of where a report is just tasks. If I click back on tasks, now the report comes back again. So providing a report applies to both tasks and resources. In the example, I'll do one more. So for example, go back to dashboards again, go back to cost overview. The cost applies to both the tasks and the resources. We can see now, and I'll just do the last example, clicking on a chart, go to the chart design, chart data. I can now go to resources because it affects both of them. So providing the chart, the reports in project affect both tasks and resources, you can then use either or. And here I've now changed the chart to resources. If I wanted to update the table, click on the table. Another table selected, and I'll go to the field list for the table. So the table the data. And I'll change this to resource as well. We can now see the breakdown for resource. And I'll leave them both on resources in this example. But this shows how reports can be updated between tasks and resources when a report affects both tasks and resources. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.